Hello, Matt here from chemistrystudent.com. In this video, we're going to look at the bromination of phenol. We're going to talk about what bromination of phenol actually means and compare the bromination of phenol with the bromination of benzene. The structure and other reactions of phenol are outlined in separate videos. Check the links in the description below. Before we talk in detail about the bromination of phenol, there are a few essential ideas you need to be comfortable with. Phenol is a cyclic compound with the formula C6H5OH. It is essentially a benzene ring with an OH group attached. Benzene is a cyclic hydrocarbon with a delocalized electron ring. There is a pi bonding system where delocalized electrons exist in rings above and below the plane of the carbon ring. This gives benzene its relative stability and is also why benzene reacts with electrophiles. Electrophiles are electron pair acceptors. They are usually positively charged and are attracted to areas of high electron density. Bromine is found in the form of Br2, a diatomic molecule. To act as an electrophile, a bromine molecule has to be polarized, forcing electrons in the covalent bond to move towards one bromine atom more than the other. A highly polarized bromine-bromine bond is weakened and easily broken enabling the bromine atom with a partial positive charge to act as an electrophile and accept a pair of electrons from something else, forcing the bromine-bromine bond to break at the same time. Recap done, let's go. Phenol can react directly with bromine to form bromophenol. This is called a bromination reaction. The actual product formed is 246-tribromophenol, as phenol is able to undergo multiple substitutions of bromine. This will be covered a little bit later on in the video though. Unlike in the bromination of benzene, no halogen carrier catalyst is needed, and you should be able to explain this ability of phenol to react directly with bromine, as it's often a particular favorite area for examiners. The ring of delocalized electrons in the benzene ring mean phenol is vulnerable to electrophilic attack and will react with electrophiles. Bromine itself isn't an electrophile though, it's a non-polar diatomic molecule. But, as a molecule of bromine comes near the delocalized electron ring in phenol, the electrons in the ring repel the electrons in the bromine molecule, and the bromine molecule becomes polarized. The molecule is polarized sufficiently to enable the partially positive bromine atom to act as an electrophile and accept a pair of electrons from the ring of delocalized electrons in phenol. This forms a new bond between a carbon in the phenol ring and causes the bond between the bromine atoms in the bromine molecule to break. The reason phenol is able to do this is because of the hydroxy, that OH group, bonded to the benzene ring in its structure. The activating nature of the OH group effectively adds electron density to the ring and makes it more reactive to electrophiles. In this case, the partially positive bromine atom. This activating nature of the OH group has been covered in more detail in a different video called Phenol Structure and Properties. Check out the link in the description below if you're unsure about it. Now, benzene by itself is unable to cause the degree of polarization required in the bromine molecule to create a bromine electrophile. A halogen carrier catalyst is needed. Phenol is also able to undergo multiple substitutions of bromine and will end up forming the product 246-tribromophenol. The 246 refers to the carbon atoms bromine gets bonded to. Carbon-1 in phenol is always considered to be the carbon bonded to the OH group. The tribromophenol means free bromine groups are bonded to the phenol. The reasons carbons 2, 4, and 6 are always chosen is due to what is called the directing effect of the OH group. In very simplified terms, a lone pair of electrons from the oxygen gets fully donated into the pi bonding system, giving the oxygen atom a positive charge. There is now a negative charge from that lone pair of electrons that can be moved around the structure, and due to the bonding system in the benzene ring, this can end up at either carbon 2, 4, or 6. The negatively charged carbon atom is always going to be the one most likely to react with an electrophile, and this is why substitution occurs at carbons 2, 4, and 6. This has been outlined in a little bit more detail in the phenol section at chemistrystudent.com. I wouldn't worry yourself with it too much though, just focus on the reaction overall and the product being formed. 
So to summarize, phenyl is a cyclic compound with the formula C6H5OH. It is essentially a benzene ring with an OH group attached. Phenyl is able to react directly with bromine in a bromination reaction, unlike benzene that needs a halogen carrier. The OH group in phenol activates the benzene ring and makes it more likely to react with electrophiles than benzene. This happens as a lone pair of electrons on the oxygen atom spread slightly into the delocalized electron system in the benzene ring, increasing the electron density. The OH group in phenol has a 246 directing effect, meaning that as multiple substitutions of bromine occur, the final product is 246 tribromophenol. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out other relevant videos in the links given in the description below and visit chemistrystudent.com for free notes and revision materials.